gonna work. This is gonna work. Like this is gonna work. Like this is the, you only gotta be right once. You only gotta be right once. And lawn care is something that when I chose it, I knew. So 2016, I get this bright idea that I'm gonna start me a lawn care business. I seen a video on YouTube, uh, shout out Keith Kalfis. Uh, he was just giving some prices out on a uh, property and uh, it just happened to look like the house that was across the street from the one I was working my second job in. I worked two full-time jobs at the time. So um, I'm watching this video. Uh, he gives out this price, $245 for 45 minutes my mind exploded um so i, I kind of mulled over the uh the thought of starting a business from that day for about two weeks or whatever and then i kind of i guess i got just kind of got pissed off and i came home that night i was on a double shift i came home that night and uh, i had this plan in my head but it wasn't written down or anything but i had this plan in my head like you know i'm gonna start this business or whatever so i go home and uh you know i tell my wife hey i think i want to uh trade my car in and um and get a pickup truck and start a grass cutting business so i, I didn't even call it lawn care it's just i was going to be chucking the truck that's that was my plan so <laughs> um i go home and i tell her and listen man my wife is uh she's an auditor at a bank so uh, she's real 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 plan oriented like she plans things out and if you don't have a good plan boy she don't want to hear the nonsense, right? So anyway, I uh, I tell her, babe, hey, I want to start this grass cutting business or whatever. And my wife, I'm thinking she's going to say, ah, oh, that's that's a stupid idea or whatever. That's not going to work, blah, 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 blah. And it would have pissed me off. But she didn't. My wife is a beast, man. She says to me, you're not going to get anything for your car. I had a 2007 Maxima. I might have had 100,000 miles on it, but it, it was it was all it was all messed up. I didn't take very good care of it uh or whatever. So, but anyway, she she says you're not going to get anything for the car and I'm like, um immediately I got mad. I, I was like, here she goes. She's about to shoot down this this little dream I got. And then she says, next thing she says is uh why don't you sell your car because you'll get more for it that way and then use the money that you get to buy whatever you think you need uh, for your business and boy let me tell you it was a it was a it was a flame at first like a little a little tiny flame you know what i mean and then she just poured lighter fluid on she poured lighter fluid on my, my, the dream the dream turned into some like deep desire like all right I, my wife believes in me like i'm about to go out here and crush it right so boom I go, uh, you know, maybe a week or so after we had that conversation, I sold my car. Um, it was like two days, three days later, I sold my car. Uh, and then this is right before Father's Day 2016. Um, I go out and I buy a, a, a blue pickup truck, a Nissan Frontier. And um, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to start this. I'm about to start this business. So next day. I, uh, I go to play in a flag football tournament. The first game, we're, we're playing well. Um, it's a draft tournament, so we're playing well. I'm playing with people that I don't normally play with or whatever. I take off, I run, I'm about to uh, I, I make people miss, whatever. Uh, I could go out of bounds or I can make this move and go up the field, score a touchdown. So I decided to make this move, go up the field, put my foot down, bam, break my foot. Break my foot the day after I bought a truck after I sold a car that was paid off to now have a car payment. So boom, I'm sitting on this, on the bench. Literally, my wife is just walking into the stadium with my, at the time, um, five-year-old daughter. And I had just broke my foot, so she didn't even see it happen. So I'm sitting on this bench, I'm ready to, literally ready to cry. She comes over to me and uh, she's like, you know, what's going on? Like, no, I just kind of was like, you know, I need time, like I, I can't talk right now. In my brain, I'm trying to think, how do I, I gotta work, like how do I, how do I, how do I work it, you know what I mean? I just, I, I'm about to start a business and how do I do a grass cutting business with a push mower 
when I got a broken foot. So anyway, all of these, all of these uh, thoughts were going through my head and uh, I just kind of collected myself, pulled it all together. We figured it all out. Um, long story short, I got some business cards, put threw some things up on Facebook and boom, one of my friends called me. Uh, hey, you want to come cut down some weeds for me? Like, sure, I, I don't know how to price anything. I don't have any type of equipment. I mean, I got a push mower that I got from Sam's Club. It was a Honda, like, I don't know, it was like real residential model Honda. Um, I had a Curve Chef trimmer that Pappy gave to me and uh, Ryobi, so it wasn't very strong. And I had a, a little handheld Troy built blower I had got from Lowe's. So that was all I had. Called my brother, cause I got a broken foot. I wrapped this, this, uh, these contractor bags around around my boot. Now I'm out there two days after I break my foot, I'm out here on my first landscaping job. We pull up to the house. These weeds were literally, I'm 5'8", these weeds were up to my up to my chest. They weren't even weeds, they were trees basically. <laughs> it was crazy. And not only were these things trees and I had this little curve shaft Ryobi trimmer with no power. My man had a pit bull that was laying dog bombs all throughout this. I didn't know this going in. So now imagine it's, it's 90 degrees outside. I started my business in June, like the end of June. So it's the hottest time of the year. And now I'm out here sweating, covered in sweat, weed whacking. I got my little brother helping me. And uh, you know, it took us a while, but we got the job done. We go straight from there to one of my other friend's house and we do a job uh, cutting the grass. And my little brother, he did the push mowing and I just sort of trimmed with, uh, with the walking boot on. So after we get done with all of this, man, it took uh, three hours. So, uh, I mean, maybe I made it seem like it took forever, but it took us three hours to do both of these jobs. And at the end of those three hours, I had charged $250 total. It was like 60 bucks for the yard and then 190 for cutting up the weeds and everything. I paid my brother 20 bucks an hour. He made 60 bucks in those three hours and I came home with $190 in my pocket. And to be honest with you, I knew right then. I knew right then. Like it, the biggest rush just came over me. Like, but like, I knew, like I, I knew. You ever know, like I knew, like I heard Jay-Z say on a story one time, like you only gotta be right once. And I know that ain't his original, his original quote or whatever, but you only gotta be right once. And I knew right then when I got done in those three hours and I made $190, uh, in my mind, that was all profit. I ain't know my numbers or anything back then, but in my mind, I made $190. And I paid my brother $20 an hour, which he, at the point, he had never made that in his life. This is, you know, six years ago. So, you know, I was like, boom, I, this is it. This is it. So I go home and I'm, I'm literally like holding back tears in the car because, you know, I got my brother with me and I don't want to be, you know, all emotional in front of him. But I dropped him off, whatever. I come home, I, I got, I'm covered in sweat, you know, just probably dog poop all over me. And uh, <laughs> my wife was in the house, she was cleaning something up or doing, fixing dinner or something. I can't remember exactly what she was doing, but as soon as I came in the house, I seen her. I seen her and I just put my arms out like this. And I said, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. Like this is gonna work. Like this is the, you only gotta be right once. You only got to be right once and lawn care is something that when I chose it, I knew, I knew immediately, I knew immediately it changed my mind. It changed everything about everything that I thought, everything that I thought about life. Like, I, you know what I mean? I, how am I going to provide for my family when I'm working two full-time jobs and I'm never home and my kids are, are asleep when I leave and they're asleep when I get home? Like, I'm tired of doing this. How, how do I get out of this? I didn't know. I watched one video from Keith Kalfas, the employee trap or whatever his, his page is, and I, he gave me the idea, and then I went out and I executed on the idea. Man, you can have anything you want in this world. Six years later, I got a dump truck, I got a trailer, I got two Toro lawnmowers, one's a multi-force and a 52-inch grandstand. I got trimmers, blowers, enclosed trailer now, a, a plow, a debris loader, all of these things. And it all started with this one job that changed my mind. This is the Romans 12, two, I believe is the verse where it's be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And I just renewed my mind, man. And it could do it for you too. I promise, just get out there, get started. 
get started and go. And you can have everything that you want with this business. One yard at a time. One landscape job at a time. One hardscape job at a time. Do the things that you need to do. Reinvest the money. Get the equipment that you need. Make yourself profitable. Go out to conferences. Watch YouTube videos. Buy templates. Create your own templates. You can do all of these things and create your own business and change your life and change your family's life. It was all given to us, you know, by God. So, and he wants you to have it, but you just gotta go take it. I wanna share my thoughts and opinions with people because this stuff has really changed my life, this lawn care. It, it changed my life, man, and it can change yours too. So if you feel like you got some sort of value in this video today, like subscribe um comment down below let me know whenever it was your time let me know when you knew if you're in lawn care or if you're in hardscape or if you're in power washing or whatever service business or business that you're in at all let me know man when did you know when did you know because i knew on the first job the f after the first job i knew i knew forever my life is going to be changed and my family's life is going to be changed so, change your family's life, man. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.